Good evening, Steve. Um, yeah, sorry it's been a while since you've heard from me. I uh, had some friends up. They were staying at my apartment. Uh, they were job hunting downtown, and they needed a place to stay closer to town, so I offered them our couch. And uh, it kind of didn't allow me enough time to sit down and record a good video. Um, and then I was going to do it last night. Sat down, had dinner, got violently ill, worst heartburn I think I've ever had, I was gonna go to the hospital, ended up falling asleep instead. Woke up, by the time I was okay, it was pretty early in the morning, so, again, sorry, things happen, I guess. <laughs> um, I had presented some questions to you guys, and you answered it spectacularly. I really like what you guys did with your videos. Chad, a perfect tribute to a genius, uh, gotta say. Joe, of course, your questions you've posed, I love what you've done. Um, so, more of this, I think, will be uh, absolutely wonderful off. Um, I'll go back to my original questions first. Um, I posed them to you guys, and you guys really took them and ran. Uh, I really, like I said, I'm just impressed. Um, but how would I define myself? Um, I asked you guys because I've always found it difficult to define myself. When I was younger, it was always easier. These days, it's not. Uh, I'm, of course, a huge nerd geek. I fall into all of those stereotypes. I love to play video games. I spend all my time on the internet. But other than that, you know, it's, it goes so much deeper, I suppose I should say. Um, so. I guess my answer would be that I have trouble defining myself as well. Um, as far as what I've been up to, kind of all-encompassing. I've spent a lot of time on the internet and playing a lot of video games, which is weird for me. Usually I just stick to what I know. Although, um, I've gotten back into an old favorite, ironically enough. I've been playing Final Fantasy VII on the PSP. Go me. It's really funny you should mention that... Uh, I showed you playing Final Fantasy VII back then. It's always been my favorite game, and it's... It holds a special place in my heart, even to this day. Um, what else am I up to? Uh, you know, the internet gaming. I, I bought a mandolin recently. I'm learning how to play that. Which, I was never the musical one in high school. Chad, we always left that to you. Um, I've really picked up guitar in the last few years, and now mandolin. It's like becoming bonded to my arm. It just has such a good sound and a good feel to it. Um, on my main YouTube channel, I'm hoping to put up a video very soon of me playing some uh, songs with it and on the guitar. But we'll see, you know, I, I'm lazy with recording. Um, and let me see, what else do we have here? Um, the moments that I remember meeting you guys, uh, you both spoke in great detail of. Uh, unfortunately, I was a very late comer to our hometown. I moved to that school in eighth grade, very beginning of eighth grade. Um, I had no friends at all at that school, I didn't know anybody, and as luck would have it, I ended up sitting across from you, Chad, at our lunch period, and it was just the two of us hanging out at the corner of the room, and we sat across from each other for probably two weeks without saying a single word. Um, that was really all I ever expected that to be, but then over time, uh, it was one of the Fridays, we had that big blocked pizza with just too much dough, and I remember you put it, you put the piece of pizza on your face and started dancing around like it was a voodoo mask of some sort. And from that moment on, we were inseparable friends. Um, it doesn't seem like that much longer. I was going over to your house and we were just hanging out all the time. Um, Joey, you also, uh, you know, you since you were so close to Chad, naturally what ended up happening is you migrated over to sit uh, with us at lunch, and that's how I got to know you. And you just fit in so naturally in my friendship with Chad that I don't remember honestly when we uh, started 
really becoming close between the two of us. I just remember that it happened and it was awesome. Um, yeah. So, I was a big latecomer to that, and I feel like I was always somewhat outcasted because I didn't have the established relationship, but I'm really glad that I got the chance to hang out with you guys so much in high school. You guys really made me what I am today, and I could never thank you enough. <laughs> Uh, Joey, you mentioned coming to my house and um, you're riding your bike over on that crazy, crazy road. And it's funny because when we were kids, we would just ride our bikes on that crazy road and uh, never cared. Now that I drive, I go back to you know where my parents live and I, th I see where we used to bike and I would think, my God, it's amazing we're still alive. That road was terrible. But... Uh, yeah, I always appreciated having you guys over when you would come. You know, me being the off-shot guy that lived in the hollow down the road. It wasn't very easy to get out and about. Um, the peanut butter cookies were always one of my favorite things from high school. Um, they were made by our neighbor at the time, George. He's an old man who loved to bake cookies. It kept him occupied. He lived alone. He was in his 80s. Um, and of course still is, but since he's in his late 80s now, he doesn't move around quite as much. Uh, he started not making peanut butter cookies, but some sort of oatmeal cookie that uh, wasn't very good. So the peanut butter cookies kind of haven't been for a while. Maybe I can put in a special request, though. <laughs> Um, overall, once again, I'm glad to see this project is working out and everything's coming together well. Uh, this is more than I ever could have asked for, um, you know, as far as you guys' replies. I'm just so thankful. Uh, you guys have given me a chance to sit in front of a camera and kind of get my thoughts on film, which is something I've pondered for so long. How do I do that? Well. Here's my excuse and my opportunity. So, you know, what do you guys think you're going to get the most out of out of this? I mean, of course we're keeping in touch and that's wonderful, but, uh, you know, I've never been much to talk on the phone. So when you guys would call me, um, it would be few and far between. And I don't think I've ever called anybody on purpose just to talk. So I, that's my benefit. I, it, it just feels good to be able to see you guys in your native environments and just having fun talking about life because that's what we got now and I like it. So you guys take care. I'll see you later in the week.